A survey of 2,309 adults in a certain large country, age 18 and older, conducted by a reputable polling organization, found that 401 have donated blood in the past two years. Complete parts A through C below. Okay, obtain a point estimate for this population. So the point estimate, again, is X over N. So the number of successful outcomes, in this case, the number who donated blood over the total in our sample. When I crunch that out, I'm going to get 0 0.174. So we're rounding to three decimal places. Okay, and I'll be honest, this next part is easier for me just to write out rather than to kind of fill in the blanks here, but let's see what we got here. So the sample, is it stated to be? It's not stated to be, but we can assume that it is. So it can be assumed to be a simple random sample. We have a reputable polling organization, so the keyword there. The value of, recall it's n times p hat times one minus p hat is, and then I actually have to crunch that out. Usually all we're doing is measuring is it greater than 10, right? So let's see what the value actually is. Okay, so I put that all that in. The sample size n, which is 2309, times 0.174, times 1 minus 0.174. And round it, I'm going to go ahead and round to 3. I th it just says this one to 3, but I'm going to go ahead and just be safe. We'll put them all to 3. 331.859. which is definitely greater than 10. And the, what are we asking for here? So this simple one here, we have three conditions, right? Simple random sample. The sample has to be big enough, and that's what this is. It's got to be n times p times 1 minus p, or p hat, has to be bigger than 10. And then also, it can't be too big. This is never a problem in textbooky type problems, that we cannot, the sample size here can be assumed to be, it's not stated, less than or equal to 5% of that population size. All right, so our sample size can't be too big. The problem is when it gets too large, our, usually when we take a sample, almost always, we don't do with replacement, right? So we don't, we, we go ahead and pick those 401 people and, or sorry, the 2,309 people from the population. The Without replacement, Independence ends up playing a part here because this, the probability of selecting the next person, it it varies a little bit, right, for each person because they're no longer part of the pool. But with big sample sizes, with big population sizes relative to their sample size, it's not an issue. So that's why that we have to state that. Okay, construct and interpret at 90%. So be careful about here. If I miss this one, I'm probably going to put 95 here. So really be careful. Let's do make sure it's 90. And this in the in the one that I'm doing, the iteration you got, it may be 95, maybe 99. Okay, so go ahead and go to stat, proportion stats. We have one sample with summary. Okay, so we're gonna have 401 for number of successes, and then I've got 2309. Confidence interval, and again, make sure you change this if it's not 95 to 0.9. Okay, so here's our interval. So we are 90% confident that the true proportion is between, let's see what we're gonna be rounding to here, three decimal places as needed. So if between 0 0.161 and 0.8, sorry, 0.187. And recall, when interpreting confidence intervals, we want to avoid using the word chance and probability with these. We really want to make sure that it's clear that our confidence is about the, the interval itself, the methodology of creating the interval. So is this first one here? Okay, so 90% confident proportion of adults is between 0.161 and 0.187. All right, so I hope that helps.